Hello and welcome back to Spirit Far. And of course, last time I forgot that we found. I tried to get that. I forgot that we got another note, which we can check out in the archive room. So let's do that first. Then we'll go to sleep. It's the middle of the night. Oh, let's see. We got we got two notes. Oh. Okay, but no coordinates whatsoever. Yeah, this is exactly how I see them. Yes, Beverly. Okay. Never mind then. Oh, she won't do something for me. So, let's go to sleep. Hopefully Stanley will, will will want something from us again. Or maybe a chicken will be hatched. I, no, I, don't think, I think it will take him a few days to hatch. I don't know why I just think that way. Yeah. Do we have something else to do? Really? We, okay, we can buy some new seats from Francis. Okay, great. He wants something. I'm not getting through those. It's just always thing I'm gaining them more than I get rid of them. Okay, never mind, because I can see a thing! Oh, that's a little short shoe. Wait, wait, I forgot to buy those for me last time. And that's gonna be it. Oh, sorry. This place is missing something! Oh, I know, I need to have a fancy decoration. I need something awesome! A treasure? Something that looks shiny and valuable. A tchotchke? Anything. A gift. Please, bring. We can. Give them. Thank you, but I don't want that. I have no idea what you want. Oh. <sighs> Please tell me you would like that shoe. Touch to my masterpiece, my super special awesome secret room. I may look odd, but it hides many secret passages and other types of cool stuff. It's my home now. I'm sorry, I'll clean all this stuff on the windows. Which reminds me, you had a ghost beetle in there hiding in your sofa. Oh, I didn't notice him. Ghost beetles are very good at hiding. But he's my friend now, and his name is Jacob. He told me he could see things no one else can. Jacob is cool. He's got superpowers. Maybe I'll let you play with him someday. Okay. So we are. If we can get eight ectoplasm by the time we get there, we will still need lots of limbs. Hmm. And what's the way to earn them fastest? Now let's see. No, it actually. Hmm. I think we could earn a lot of that. We could try going over there. Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> really? No, I. Uh -huh. Okay. You are starving. Of course, you're always starving. Um, exotic uh -huh. table. Oh, come here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, nope, I don't want it. I want... Thank you. Not ready yet, eh? Let's be ready faster. Uh, 
bad, bad. Sometimes it's so annoying that I can hit it as the way it should go. Okay. Thank you. Okay, if you don't mind, I'll switch you get uh, somewhere. Yep, over here. I need those trees. And I need to find something else in that place. Really? Don't talk to me if you're not gonna keep talking. Is it on? Quiet. Thank you, Alex. Um, is there anything on how I'm growing impatient? Really? Why not then? Maybe have some popcorn. Oh, right. Uh, some blueberry. What's that? Is that? I think it's frozen, it doesn't. It? Roots are yucky. No thanks, big hat. And what do you want? Co coffee? Well, I don't think I can eat that. My mother always said I couldn't. What's a stimulant anyway? <gasps> oh, you are a kid. Yep, I think he's a kid. Get okay. over here. Up. We need to find a way. Earn forty-five thousand coins. Hey. It's gonna be a long time until we get that upgrade. We will be... I just hope we can get that egg. Plasm, really. We'll be able to do at least one thing. I've planted silver last time. More oak, please. Yes, we are ready. Okay, so actually, I think since all we can do now is wait. Oh, no, there's some rice. But now. We have to try making some flour and doing with plain rice. So once I'm done cooking, I'm gonna get back. So now be right back. We can do it. Rice it needs to be flour. Okay. Anyway, be right back. Okay, we are back. Hopefully, it's correct because I can. Anything else? Fine. Okay, so we're going to go in bed, and in the morning we give that properly, unless she wants it straight away. Which I honestly doubt. Yeah. And Stanley should be ready as well. Hopefully. Yeah, no. Mm, oh, actually. The voice certainly ready. Man, I need to plan that. I guess Beverly is an early bird. Eh. 
You got all these places right. It smells amazing. Okay, I think give it a try. My stomach is basically a hot pepper at this point. I can handle it. Uh, sure. <laughs> oh. Somewhere around here. It's just the right kind of tongue burning. I mean, that's incredible. You haven't lost your way around the kitchen. Wow. I feel my sins clearing. Thank you, sweet pea. I suppose I get carried away a bit here there. Sorry, there isn't any left for you. Don't you worry, I'll make it up for you. I know, I know. This was supposed to be a treat for you as well. Excellent. Well, then, do you have a minute? The girl saying, I've been having this dream. Don't worry, I'm not a monster. I won't start telling you my dream. Oh, maybe a little. So, in my dream, I was using the projector in the archive room B252. Then I was transported inside the images. The first image was, let's see. Oh, I remember. We went sightseeing in the city. We rented an apartment for the whole family. It was so luxurious. We had the whole week planned out. Museums, parks, restaurants. Obviously, Henry got sick on the first day. I remember staying by his side, knitting. The only thing he was able to was draw. Poor thing. He was really obsessed with his cartoon show back then. It's probably just giant robots and men in tights. The, old, the apartment was somewhere in the old central district. It was supposed to be our home away from home. For a week at least. And the whole time I was eating a giant bag of sweet corn. That's dreams for you. They're always a bit foggy. Hopefully, if you find that acetate, it will drop my memory a bit more. Thanks again, sweet pea. You're a lifesaver. But we do have that one. <laughs> Look at that! That's not a giant robot. That's me. I look so young. Oh wow. He was trying to be knitting on a dead chair. Oh Henry. Growing up made such a sweetheart out of him. Before that he was a little monster. The kind of kid who's noisy when the show is on, but oh, during the commercials. Well they he just calmed down. It was strange. Overnight he became his dad. Brilliant and quiet. Real quiet. He just retreated in his thoughts. Oh what an odd fake too. The thing in your head at night. You um, dream. Yeah, dream about it. Are you not done yet? There you go. What are you doing? Where are we going? I don't know how to be a captain, so I'm following you. Hey, just tell me when you're done. Yeah. Because we found that ectoplasm, we can't go anywhere really. We are kind of So please be done with your stuff. Look over here. Come on. Now Olga shows up. Oh. Oh, the plants is ready. Might as well. Side waiting for Sally to be done. And I guess this is the second kid we've encountered so far. The first one being Gwen. The rest is just elderly. Ooh. And I'm honestly afraid. What happened to him? Because you know, each one of them is dead. I 
means he is dead as well. He died somehow. And we will find out now. Okay, we're moving. You're hungry, I know. What are you doing all day? This question is a dedicated cook. He did that. I didn't exit the conversation. Ech. But rice is so strange that it goes up in point. I really don't know what to do with myself. Are you gonna let me feed you now? Too young. Some piece of shit came out now and hits me with a basketball ball. Baseball bat. Even see, even see. Wait, my body goes limp and this. It's the ground. Mickey is red. Like a tomato. Loves the guy who's still hitting me with the bat, by the way. He throws it off into the side of a car. The window shattered. The guy has glass all over him. He's screaming bitterly. It's in my eyes, it's in my eyes. But it's coming out of his eyes and Mickey, well, he's just laughing. What a laugh. That thing could lull me to sleep. And I really don't I think I'm gonna get rid of you as fast as possible as possible. Really. If you are that aggressive. I think I will get rid of you. Um crystal glass sheet. Really, we are just swimming around at this point. Not really looking for anything in particular. Crystal glass times three. Crystal, I told it's crystal. <laughs> put something to cook. Let's see, rice flour and maybe... Mm, some base shrimp? Since we are waiting anyway. Really, the gold is getting to me. At this point, I don't want to see dragon. That's uh, connected to the gold. Hi, ah, don't join me on this boat. I've been wondering. Could be possible to build me a house? Remember the kids and David and I? Would, we had nature around. We had dogs and goats. It was a ghostly farmhouse. It wasn't much, but it was ours. Oh, my little farmhouse. That's right, it's right there. Well, I dropped all down once again. Everyone is good with houses. I know what I want to tell you. This man from my town was one of the two real estate agents around. He had just started one wanted to make an impression. He had a giant mustache and was always wearing a tuxedo. It was quite odd. Anyway, it turns out that he couldn't sell a house to save his life, but... He was the lead salesperson in his district for two years straight. The local paper did a big story on him. They found out that his wife was buying all the properties. She had laid 20 houses in her name. All neighborhood was nearly empty. She could afford it. My dad had struck rich and oil. Just goes to show you he can't judge by, by, by his... Well, then. Yeah, but I need to get 
get to the kitchen first before I don't think burns. Whatever that is. Shrimp and pride. Really? Nothing. Come on. An old ship. Okay. Okay, let's see other places like this. Maybe over here? Yeah, why not? Really, really hope Stanley will be done soon. I really want to be done with this ectoplasm thing. One more, please. And right now I'm gonna check whether it was right. <laughs> Wait, it was her house? No, she needed glass. What was it I wanted? What was... Crystal glass. Oh, he wanted one. No, it wasn't that. What was that I wanted to do? Wait, I think I need to move this. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, okay, it has the same... Uh, same... Wait, oh. Ah! Messing up the controls. Yeah, it shouldn't. I don't think it's bigger. Which doesn't change that. Uh, that. Oh, I think. Oh, it was for that. Just a glass. Shit, now all we need is that ectoplasm. Please, Stanley. Be done with this with your room. So. Could be you've probably wondered where I've been lately. I've been hiding out in my house. I don't want to come out. Just like in a small town, war the kids around, and the gossip starts. The walls are not that thick. You can still hear people talking, talking about me. It's kind of this kind of thing, unwarranted gossip. I mean, it happened all the time back in town. People don't seem to change. One of my good friends was always the nicest to me. She would always place my hairstyle or the way I dressed. The compliments were always coming. And this was when I had just lost my brother. Remember? I told you that story about the sudden brain aneurysm. Poor thing. Taking the dog for a walk then. Poof. On the ground. Well, it was around that time. One day, uh, I was at her house for a garden party and we had to leave early. My husband wasn't feeling too well. Too many cocktails. It was such a lightweight. Well, we left quite suddenly, but I had forgotten my purse. I came back not 15 minutes later, and from the sidewalk I could hear. Oh, she was looking behind me back. Like, talking about how I wore the same dress for two parties in a row. Said in a very offhanded way. Like she was stating a fact. Everyone knows that. She should know better than... That's what I remember. The way it made me feel, I didn't like it. This is how I feel now. Nobody likes to be kicked when they're down. I've been feeling like I'm losing my mind. And on top of that, other people on this boat have been talking about me behind my back. I don't want you to put yourself in a delicate situation, but could you help? Maybe do the rounds and see for yourself what is going on. I would appreciate it. Thank you, Sweepy. You want me to talk to them? Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay, now they're all going to sleep, so... But we won't talk with anyone. Anyway. Mm, 
Okay, that's fine. Please tell me Stanley is done. Okay. And actually, I think this is a fairly good place to end this part, so for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!